Welcome to RuralVacantLand.com. This is Luke Smith and I've got a property for you. Today I'd like to talk about Humboldt County, California in a little neighborhood called Shelter Cove. I think it's the cheapest land on the Pacific coast of America. Well, it's probably the continental U.S. of America. And uh, there's a little boat launch, it's good fishing, views of the ocean. And let's dive into this one. This, this property I was asking forty-five thousand dollars roughly I lowered the price just right now before I made this video I just lower the price to twenty eight thousand nine hundred dollars and uh, why because it's been up for sale for a couple months and nobody's taken off with it it's uh, it's oceanfront it's an oceanfront property it's right on the ocean you can look out at the ocean the Pacific Ocean and you could probably hit a golf ball into the ocean you're probably not supposed to but you know you probably could from the property and it's just it's right there there's a bluff between the, the property and and the water but I mean it's right on the ocean um, good friend of mine um, got some pictures and so we got some actual pictures of the property on this one I think this is a street view but there's there's a I think there's actual pictures. so this is standing on the street this is the property is, is over here looking out at the ocean there's neighbors on either side there's power lines, water lines, sewer lines. There's a helicopter going over, so hopefully you can still hear me. <laughs> but uh, you know, all the infrastructure's there and ready to go. And uh, if we keep looking at these pictures, yeah, yeah, you can see the power line. There's a there's a um, transformer right there. There's a bunch of trees in the area. So here's a street comes up here. The water's down here to to the um, this would be. This would be east and this would be west. So the water's to the west. You're going to get full on uh, sunset view out over the Pacific Ocean. So here's the little roads. These roads go out a bit further, but this one's back a little bit. So you've got a um, piece of property right in here, and it's all natural nature land between you and the water. Nobody can build between here and the water. So it's all you. There's houses over here, houses over here, but you got this, this shot looking out at the water. This is looking south. Maybe this would be a little more south. South, southwest. So here's Shelter Cove. This is a point sticking off of Northern California. There's a road that comes into Shelter Cove that hooks up to the 101. There's a bunch of uh, you know, natural forests, national forests surrounding it. And so it's a lot of nature and then this, this neighborhood. This neighborhood has a grocery store, a little general store. It's got a boat launch. That's what I'm mostly excited about. It's the boat launch. You can launch your boat from here. So a lot of people in the neighborhood have boats. A big fishing community or small fishing community, I guess, is a better way of saying it. King Range National Conservation Area. This is all the King's Range, just mountains, mountains, mountains. So here's the 101 over here. And you turn off the 101, you come down the small road, winding through the mountains to get to this neighborhood. And then you're on the coast. As you're driving in, it's just big, spectacular ocean views. So here's a topography shot. And this is the road here, so it's sitting on this shelf before it goes over the edge. A um, couple different angles. Here's different topography. It's like 400 foot off the off of the ocean. It's about yeah, like a 400 foot kind of cliff in front of the house. And then there's a road that goes up to the end of it where you could put where you could build your house. Sorry for the noise. The neighbors are neighbors are resurfacing everything. Um, but there's some more pictures in here somewhere. Here we go. Here's a fishing boat looking from the property, looking out at the view of the ocean. Someone's out there fishing away. There's some more views. This is a trees. This is a valley in front. And this is from the property looking out at the ocean. So these are the actual views. This was taken um, a couple days ago. Today is the 2nd of, uh, of August. And I think these were taken this last weekend, like... 29th or something so it's less than a week ago um, that these pictures were taken um, here's another shot nice sunny day um, looking looking like if you're on standing on the street it'd be left to be south south southeast dish over here different views from the property this would be back you know, so standing on the standing on the land. These are your different shots, neighbors. So your neighbors aren't 
right up in your space but they're there they're building on on the same hill looking out at the same ocean they they're there they're loving it going for it these are just different views of the ocean that you get from this property so i'd i'd go build a cabin there and just sit there and look at the water i mean i i love looking at the water something really soothing relaxing about living near the water and seeing the water waking up with the water and going to sleep with the water there when the waves come through and pound on on the shore you can feel them hear them and that kind of stuff you can see the weather you can see it coming across the ocean you can see whether you know it's good bad ugly whatever you can just see it i got an old video about this one um with the higher price but uh the there's a link in the ad to this um this property that brings up um the community well let's see eventually it brings up the community yeah so oh they moved it this isn't the same they must have updated the site so there's um um you know it talks about the the neighborhood and all kinds of rules and regulations and comings and goings and things um you know just set up ready to go so you can learn more about the area there there's a buy it now button which is um just ask for like five hundred dollars so you can hold the property while we go either through a title company or um well if you want me to do the deeds the paperwork or some kind of owner financing or something let me know and uh, we'll figure it out and take it from there. Um, it's 500 bucks, takes it off the website so no one else can buy it. Um, they give you a week to get it figured out. So legal description, it's basically you know, the lot number, lot block stuff. California, Humboldt County, 420 foot. You know, so it's, it's like 400 foot off the ocean. Um, there is power in the area, there's water. Um, this says water catchment well or delivery, but there's water line on that street and there's a sewer line on that street too. So I should update, I should update this. Um, taxes, $370 a year. That's what it's been in the past. Closing docs, I say I'll, I'll pay the closing costs on it if you want me to do the deed. If you want to take it through a title company, I ask you to pay for the title company. Um, we could use the same title company I bought the property through if you like, probably. Probably lower the fees that way and it's coming out of a company I'll sign off on it's called Earth Adventure LLC um, and here's a post office in the area lighthouse parks there's just lots of parks right along the coast there's a little motel there's a campground motel kind of stuff here's a shot of the beach this is I think they call it black sand beach as you can just see these mountains running along the shore looks like a great spot to run the dog and um, you know just go clear your head go for a good long walk on the beach and uh, restart start fresh and go again right so I pulled up uh, agent pro this thing has got um, different lot lines so here's the property it's got the cul-de-sac coming down here and here's the shape of the property and then uh, across the street you can see someone's built there people have built further out over here and over here and over here this one back here um, looks totally doable And then uh, got a different set of data with some another map with some different lot lines. Someone else's data set. Um, so this one showing it, I mean it's they're showing it off a little bit, but the circle, you know, this circle should probably line up with the circle over here. So it's more this way. Probably slide it over to here more. But you get the idea off of this kind of map of where it's at. Top view. Got the fire department right over here. And then so you're looking down you're looking down and you, I don't know if you'll be able to see the boat launch the boat launch is right here you probably like just barely cut off from seeing the boat launch but that's always fun watching people launch boats <laughs> put them in take them out one of the last times I was at the boat launch with the kids the guy backed his whole truck into the water and it was a big ordeal I was trying to help him get it out and the police showed up and said I was crazy because I was I was trying to save the guy, you know, and they belittle me while they stand there and watch the guy scramble, whatever. But uh, um, they thought the water's too cold and it's too dangerous to try to save the guy. <laughs> uh, but so there's the boat launch and there's, um, you know, you can, they have a tractor is what I hear. And so you can hook the, 
hook your trailer up to the tractor, the tractor service drops it into the water and you launch the boat and then they go park the trailer off to the side and then when you come back you give them a call like hey put the trailer back in the water I'll drive back up on it the tractor puts the trailer back in the water you drive up on it and then you pull it out and so they charge you something to launch a boat I'm not sure how much it wasn't much for the tractor service so that's how they do it there and then the next fishing from here is like 50 or 60 miles north or south. There's nobody coming down here to go fishing. I mean, this is a little, this range is really, um, it's hidden, right? So down here there's, uh, what is it? Um, there's Fort Bragg. So you could take, take boats out of Fort Bragg, which is like, well, I'm on the wrong map, you know, 60 miles or something. And then from the north, you have uh, um, you know, Eureka. There's a launch up here. You could you could come out up here. I don't think you come out at Eel River, but um, Eureka, whatever that's called, the boat launch over here. So maybe 50 miles for that one or something like that, but a long ways. It's not like people are shooting their fishing boats out of here and coming down and fishing right out in front of where you are. So there's a kind of a longer road rustic shot to get your boat in the water and then not a whole lot of fishing competition to go fish up and down this coast here it's good for halibut um salmon and uh rockfish i mean i'd be slamming rockfish every day look at this trench up here maybe go north a little bit go work the edges of that trench you probably catch freezer full of rockfish just eat rockfish for dinner like every night you know 30 different kinds of rockfish um so there's where the property's at. I pulled up Shelter Cove on Google Images, and this is kind of old school, you know, using Google Images, but uh, I like Instagram a lot better these days, but there's some good pictures on Google. These are kind of older ones. So this waterfall coming down here, that right by the beach, and they got these coves. So there's a lot of these coves, tree-lined coves, and nice sandy beaches, probably cold water, but great sandy beaches to go throw a stick for the dog, walk around enjoy a good sunny day on so here's um here's the there's a little airstrip if you're into that to get in and out of the community um i don't know what this is i don't think that's the same place yeah here's the boat launch just a different angle of the boat launch and so here's the the house or the property would be whoops the property would be right up here so here's a cliff down underneath the property and so the waves might slam into that some days you could hear it and then up this hill up 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 you know 400 foot elevation higher is where the lot is where the property starts flattening out by the road and the utilities so you could build up top of this hill and look down at this water I really doubt you're gonna be able to walk down this hill or traverse this hill to get to the beach right below but it's not very far just go around the corner and get to this boat launch or to the um, the different beaches that are in the area. This was this is a good looking one that shows the hill right here, but it's not very big. Let's see if we can get a bigger version of that. I don't think we're gonna. Um, I know th there was something I wanted to show about the. There was one of these pictures that really showed the hill. Um, Maybe this this isn't the one I was thinking of, but it should work. So the boat launch is down here. And then uh, see the weir that piled up some rocks to give you a good pole to launch and land the boat. And the property would be up here, or here, like along this hill up here. And so along this hill, looking down at the ocean, you can see, you know, you just go around the corner and you can get down to the boat launch. Or if you go over here, there's big beaches you can play with. And then there's all these little coves in between, like rocky coves. If you like diving for abalone and stuff, these look like good spots to, to work on that. I don't know if there's if you're allowed to there or not, but it just looks like it from the picture. Um, yeah, so there's a couple different shots of it. There's the kind of house you could build there. That looks pretty nice. You could build a little log cabin. Um, I pulled up Shelter Cove on Instagram. This is more modern pictures. Google's got the old pictures. I don't think much of anybody posts their pictures on Google anymore. But Instagram's got all the new pictures. 
So there's, there's people taking a, a peek or a shot of the different hiking hiking distances from from this sign. You know, there's a good dog. There's the lighthouse. There's somebody looking over the edge. Somebody getting engaged or married. I'm not exactly sure. And um, taking a selfie <laughs> with the boat launch in the background. Eating some crabs. There's the beach. Um, walking the dogs. It looks like a nice sunny day to be there. I think lots of the times you get fog too. So you get foggy mornings, sunny afternoons. Yeah, Shelter Cove. Looks like a beautiful area. There's somebody laying the plane into the area. Somebody fishing out in front of the area, hiking the rocks down by the beach. There's a shot. Look at that. Let's see if that shows up on the video. It's kind of dark. It's kind of like a foggy shot sitting on the cliffs. There's a different view. Somebody's got um, a little overhang. So where's the boat launch? This might be the northern coast uh, shelter cove. So I think I think the boat launch is going to be around that corner if I'm following this right. Um, you know, here's some more information about the boat launch. How it's operated by California Department of whoever. Um, you know, people playing, seeing the birds and kayaking out front, seeing the trees and the rocks and just different kinds of pictures people are taking of the area. They're taking pictures of nature. They're taking pictures of what they see around them. They're not taking pictures of, you know, their new gold teeth they just put in and the 40 that they're drinking or something. It's not that kind of neighborhood. It's the kind of neighborhood that they're enjoying nature. That's what I'm trying to say. So if you're interested in this property, I'll take you back to my website. Um, there's a link down below. It's uh, it's easy. You can go take a tour of the property, check it out, see if it's the one you like, if it's the one you want. There's cheaper ones in the neighborhood. I'm not saying I'm the cheapest one in the neighborhood, but I think I'm the cheapest one in the neighborhood that's on the ocean. I think I'm the cheapest one on the ocean on the California coast. I think I'm the cheapest one on the California, Oregon, Washington coast. Um, I think it's going to be hard to find a property that's on the ocean for $28,900 or less that has all the utilities you can drive right up to it look at it and build a house build a cabin build a build what you want to build within reason i mean there's a little bit of rules about the neighborhood they've got i think they they want you to build like thousand square foot or something don't quote me on that they have a minimum square foot they want you to build and they want it to be stick built they don't want you to put a rv or a mobile in there um, they've got a campground if you want to live in the campground with hookups and showers and stuff while you're building you can do that but they don't want you to live in an RV on the property while you're building numerous people grow um, in the neighborhood they want you to build a house before you start growing um, so if you want to put up a, um, a hoop house or a, a greenhouse or a you know fill your garage or whatever they want you to build a house first not not the grow room first to pay for building the house um, so you got to build a house but then you can grow you just got to build the house first. Um, so I'm trying to think of what else there is about that neighborhood. But that's the basics. I mean, it's ocean view right on the ocean. Um, if my wife weren't so into horses, I'd be... I mean, the fishing side of this thing is awesome. The ocean view is awesome. The price is awesome. Um, I want to go build on it. But I, I can't have horses there. My wife's going to be like, where do we keep the horses? <laughs> It's that's where it nixes it for me, but maybe a second home or third home or something. If no one else buys it, I might go, go work, go to work on it. Um, so there's the property, Luke Smith, RuralVacantLand.com. If you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. I'll keep serving up more properties like this, cheapest, best in the area that I can find, come up with, and um, you know you can run with it. You can go build something and sell it, build something, rent it, build something, live in it. It's. Uh, it's just ready to go. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. See you in the next one.